So this is my personal biased opinion <clears throat> about driving for Uber. That's going to upset a lot of people. This is one of the main thing that's wrong with doing Uber or trying to do Uber. You get a lot of people that not only expect you to wait, they figure that you have to wait five minutes, right? So that gives them a little bit of flexibility, I guess you could say. Like last night, I go to pick up some jerk at the bar, right? The motherfucker hasn't even paid yet. Why the fuck do you order an Uber if you haven't even paid yet? Why? Because these assholes know or they think that we have to wait. I don't wait. When they sit there and tell me that they're barely going to pay, fuck you. I'll leave. Order another fucking Uber. Now you have to fucking wait. Because it's a dick fucking move. It's a dick. It's a piece of shit move to order ride share when you haven't even paid your fucking bill yet. You expect the motherfucker to sit there and wait. We don't get paid to wait. Uber says after two minutes, it starts charging the customer, right? You get like five cents. You get like five, six cents extra for waiting three minutes. Right? Three whole fucking minutes that you have to wait before you can cancel and all they pay you is a few cents extra. I think I got 10 cents the last ride that I did for waiting those three minutes. Technically it was five total, right? I got 10 cents extra. So these assholes think, oh, I'll just be here a douchebag taking my time Order an Uber. When they show up, I'll take my time. I'll ask for the check. Say goodbye to my friends. I get I get that shit too. I'm saying goodbye. I'll be there in two minutes. I had one fucking asshole say, send a text saying, I'll be there in five minutes. That's pendejo. I'm not going to fucking wait five minutes for your stupid ass to go take a shit. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be there in five minutes. Fuck you. You ain't coming in my car after you took a shit. Fuck you. Right now. Try to be nice, right? Because it's at Fort Sam. And it was a female. The last time I went, they were waiting by the gate, outside the gate, because they know that we can't go inside, right? Boom, awesome, five stars. Right now, I pull up to the gate, you can't go inside, so I waited by the gate, called, go straight to voicemail. Send a text, I'm here. I'm on my way, I'm trying to be nice, because it's a 410 and it's a female. 10 fucking minutes I waited. Nothing. You know what's fucked up about that one? Is that if you don't get to the pin, Uber doesn't let you start the timer. So you're pretty much fucked. Like these, like last night, that asshole that didn't give me the, the gate code. I could sit there and fucking wait 20 minutes. And nothing. Right? Because I can't start the timer. According to Uber, I have not showed up. If I have not gotten to the pin, I technically never showed up. So this is how much of an asshole Uber can be. Since I can't get to the gate to start the, the timer, I technically never showed up. Even though they can tell I'm close, right? It shows on the GPS that I'm right outside the gate. They kicked me off the app for canceling that ride.
this is the thing this is the this is the icing on the cake people get in the car and they say how long have you been doing this i i see on the app that it says you've been with uber for over two years you've done over three thousand fucking rides right and i still gotta put up with bullshit like that from uber and you know what if you guys get off your lazy asses and actually watch this fucking video uber has gotten really fucking stingy since everything has started opening up and the economy has gotten better and everything is getting better uber has gotten so fucking stingy and has been such a fucking asshole and we're the ones doing all the fucking work <laughs>